Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day three of our triple seven chakra challenge. And we're moving into our solar plexus practice or our Manipura practice. So come to an easy seated position. Let your hands rest in your lap. Palms are coming together and just fold one thumb over the other. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Release the hands, rest them on your knees. And we're just going to work into some stirring motion, stirring up that solar plexus. So go ahead and start to rotate your body to the right. Again, we're stirring up that solar plexus, activating the power that lies in our solar plexus. Do the same thing, start to rotate your body to the left. Coming back to a neutral spine, we're going to make a sun shape with our body using our arms. Our arms are the part of, of the are a part of our body that is able to reach out and touch things in the universe. So we're sweeping our arms up. Again, visualize yourself making this beautiful sun around yourself. Exhale the arms down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. And on your next inhale, float your body up to a table position. And then we're going to float our body forward, keeping the hands underneath the shoulders. And either it's just lifting the chest up for cobra, baby cobra, or if you want a little more, press into those hands, straighten those elbows out, coming all the way up for up dog. Roll those shoulders down and back. Take an inhale. Exhale, float your body, coming back to child's pose for just a moment, using it as a transition. And then we will make our way to a seated position. So float your body forward and come down to a seat. Let's bring the feet out in front and we'll get ready to move into boat pose. So again, that's just gonna activate our core and activate our solar plexus here. Taking your hands, resting them down on either side of your hips, and you're just gonna walk them back maybe an inch or so. And then we are going to take our feet and lift them off the ground. Now, if you need a little bit more support, you can do one foot at a time. And we're just holding here. If you want a little more, go ahead and bring those arms out in front. Just holding, holding. Rest your feet down if you need to. Inhale. Exhale, relax those feet down. Just taking a moment here. Go ahead and take your legs and extend them out in front. Rest them down at your sides on either side of your hips and you can move into either staff pose or intense east pose. So if you're moving into staff pose, you're keeping your hips on the ground, press into those hands, roll those shoulders back, lift the chin. 
but if you want a little more you'll go ahead and lift your hips off the ground you may have to walk your hands back a little bit more and let that head fall back inhale exhale lower back down to your sits bones let's make our way down to our back hug the knees into the chest and then from here just take your knees and let them fall over to the right side left arm can extend out to the left side gaze can follow that left arm Inhale, exhale to center, and then let the knees fall over to the left. Right arm extends out to the side. Let your gaze follow the right hand. Inhale, exhale back to center. Hug the knees into your chest. Let's move into our short Shavasana. You can either lay down or sit up. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring the color yellow into your mind. Let your body be filled with the color yellow. Silently repeat the affirmation to yourself. I can do whatever I put my mind to. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Feel free to stay here in your Shavasana for the next few moments. Otherwise, that completes our solar plexus chakra challenge. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this practice. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for day four for our heart chakra practice. Peace and love.